I'm Georgina Bennett and this video will discuss what I have learnt during the 201 Professional Experience module. The interviews that I carried out and the manifesto I created with my group has helped me understand what is needed to be a successful professional. Our manifesto was created to be like a useful set of guidelines to follow. This helped me when gaining work for this module. I wanted this module to help me gain more experience and improve my current skills. I knew to achieve this that I wanted to try a work placement as well as freelance work so I could compare the two as well as come out with a more rounded skills set. I decided to contact companies asking to shadow or to help out but some never replied and most were only offering a six month internship or longer. At the time I felt I couldn't dedicate the amount of time they needed from me on top of university work. Whilst I still hadn't found a placement, I felt more confident in contacting places instead of taking the ones that didn't reply in a negative way, and felt this also improved my communication skills, one thing that our manifesto said was key to being professional. I came across the company Beat Freaks TV, a young arts organisation that helps discover new talent. I contacted them asking if they had anything I could work on and they invited me to their office in Birmingham to discuss further. I met the team who asked me what I would want to do for their channel. I was surprised that they were allowing me to have such freedom to choose myself. They wanted to offer me a six months residency and after explaining the issue of not being around for six months they agreed to be as flexible as they could and so I signed a contract with them. I wish I had contacted the company sooner because since being with them I have felt my independence grow as well as my technical skills. The BBC and Beat Freaks launched a spoken word series involving seven artists called Make Your Mark. I got the opportunity to shadow the BBC and film a behind the scenes video for the channel. This was a good way to get out and improve my camera skills whilst getting to know the team better. Since being with them I have opened myself up to lots of new upcoming opportunities. I have plans to film a documentary with them. This is something I have wanted to do for a while as I never took documentary module but wish I had. I am looking forward to continuing the placement with them, expanding my contacts and developing my skills further. The two main things I wanted to gain from this module. For the freelance work I wanted to do a variety of different things. There was a music event on at Vargo Village called Vargvest. I joined to help film. I filmed the close-ups but found this was difficult as it was handheld and the bands kept moving around a lot, making it difficult to keep the camera focused. This event helped me improve my speed with the camera and I had to be quick when setting up the shots because if I wasn't I would miss the shot. Ben Rain wanted to create a music video and dedicate it to his cousin who recently passed away. As this was a deeply personal video, he wanted to be in it and have himself filmed. A small group and I decided to help him set up and film. This experience taught me more than I expected. We had a lot of difficulties when setting up the lighting. Getting it just right was difficult, but it taught me to persevere and how to problem solve, which was another key point on our manifesto on how to be a professional. Filming the music video also gave me a chance to use the dolly tracker for the first time. This was so much harder than it looked. The floor was uneven, so it was hard to get one completely smooth shot. I found that freelance work has pushed me to try things I wouldn't have done. This can be a positive as well as negative as you need to have the drive in order to work independently but when you work alone you can push yourself to learn more because you have to. This is why I wanted to try freelance work as well as a placement so I could compare the two. I feel like I have pushed myself to learn and stretch the areas I am not so comfortable with during freelance work. Compared to working with a company I feel more confident within a group and I feel like I can learn from others and bouncing off ideas and knowledge with a team member can make our strengths and weaknesses complement and balance each other. Another bit of freelance that I created was a question studio with Heather Cartwright asking people about their opinions on romance. This video wasn't produced for anyone but ourselves but we took it as an opportunity to improve many skills such as filming, sound, communication with strangers editing and also we wanted to consider branding as if this was a part of a mini-series so we also created a logo too. When it came to the editing I found that a lot of the colour was out and this stretched my colour correction abilities as I am not confident in this area but want to improve. The video gave us ideas and inspiration for the next few episodes if we wanted to continue. After doing many little freelance pieces I have realised that freelance is never certain. As for the workload for example, sometimes I would have loads to do and would have to schedule it all to fit in one day, whereas other times I would be free with nothing to do. This has made me prefer the certainty and structure that working with a company provides and has shown me my preferences for my future career. 
I put all of my work on a website with a clear, simple logo. I wanted to think of my portfolio as a visual CV that demonstrates my skills to employers. The link can be added to my actual CV and there is a contact page too. Down the bottom I added a logo that I've created and this gives my work a sense of identity. Overall I feel like this module has pushed me to do things I may not have pushed myself to do but I have come out with a more rounded skill set and a widened set of contacts who I will continue to work with after the module has ended.